very good day. Hello and good day to you sirs. Um, we're getting back onto this OPR. We got a little issue where it's still making a crap ton of oil pressure. So, yeah, take this drift motion um, billet adapter off the flange. Just have a look at it and that hole there, it's a 5mm hole, nothing wrong with that. Inside the 5mm hole, um, you can see this is different. But what do I had on it? I have this. It's a dash 3 to a dash 4. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a teeny weeny weeny hole. That's a 2mm hole. So I'm sorry. My stupid dogs over there. Boys! So I went up and. Anyway, I'm getting back to you. This is. Went up, up to NZ. Go oh, NZ, just got a uh, dash 4 with the tapered end. And I ran. I'm not going to use this. I, I could use this to replace. To replace this one. But. I went and see if I. Oh, ran a 5mm drill bit through it. Just to see how much, how thick the sides are on it, and yeah, that works. So I went and did the same with this one. It's a 90, so once it's on the block, it'll be ute, like that. And we're going to throw up after my drain, because I'm thinking, thinking that the drain was a little held back. So it was actually making the OPR not work properly. So. I'm gonna try this anyway. Uh, get rid of that. I could use this to replace that one. I'm not going to. Just for ease of access. I haven't got a 90. It's drilled at 5mm. The drift motion flange, it is 5mm. The um, return hole anyway. So I'm gonna put that on and uh, we'll see if that gets this APR to actually bring bring the oil pressure down to at least 40. It was around 60, which is still too much, and it was still smoking the turbo. Not as bad, but just a little bit. Okay, yeah, everything's back, back together. Now, I did clock the compressor hose housing just a little bit to get this pipe further, closer, closer down, further down, so the you know, air filter and everything can actually fit under the bonnet for once, but all the lines are in um, that new fitting that I drilled out, it's on. So let's uh, see what this oil pressure is going to do. Now, this is dead cold start, so I believe it's going to have a lot of oil pressure. But time will tell when we get the engine up for temp and uh, what oil pressure will hold. Thing's still smoking. So, if anyone knows, hit me up. We'll have to have a chat. But still smoking, just a little bit. Still got 50 psi, so we're down 10 psi with the little 
uh, fitting that I put in, but still smoking. Gap sort that out, maybe even put a one mil restrictor in line. I don't want to, but if I have to, I will. Oh well. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, car's cold. I inboxed Turbo Smart and told my issues, and um, yeah, they did, couldn't really help. So they got, they want me to email their support link for their products, and I've emailed them, but it's the weekend, so they probably won't get back to me um, because I'm still having the issue of having more than 40 psi as it's supposed to be 40 but unfortunately i've got like 60 65 70. uh you've seen that i drilled out the fittings to make them like five mil a little bit bigger that might have helped maybe not sure but anyway just for now i went and got as you can see in this little sucker that tiny little thing is a restrictor it's a one mil restrictor and it sits into the male side of your 200 series settings so I'm just going to put one of those in I actually I bought two of them. so I got that one there and I've got another one there I'm thinking just you know have a little fun with this and see if I can help give the API a helping hand because this engine does make a hell of a lot of oil pressure um, maybe I'll take one and drill it out to two mils, because these are one mil restrictors. Drill it out to two mil, put it in the feed line before the OPR, and just see if what that'll do. But I know that it goes <laughs> goes against it all anyway, because having an OPR, you're not supposed to have a restrictor. So. What's the use of having an APR if I'm just going to put a restrictor in? Um, but I'll do that for now anyway, just see what happens and uh, hopefully Turbo Smart will get back to me and hopefully it's just a quick easy fix. Um, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll put this on. Um, it's going to have a hell of a lot of oil pressure since it's cold, but we'll get to that when we get to that. See what it does. So I've got, got a 1.38, make sure that's zeroed out, sort of, 1.47, so we'll just call that a 1.5, and this is funny, and we got a 2.2, so I reckon we throw a 1.5, put a 1.5 down to the sucker, put it in, troll it out, and then put a, uh, put that 2.2 hole in it, and give that a go. I've got another drill here, and I've put the, res the restrictor into the chuck, I'm not going to put it in a vise because I could risk damaging it, at least this will Hopefully not destroy it. I'll drill it out. I'll get back to uh, we'll throw it in and see what happens. Uh, well, I hope this works anyway. Get this off so we can see the gauge a bit better. And I need. Okay. Put it on the feed line. So, I'm going to need two hands. That's tighter than I thought. Go. 
go. Mint this up. And now this has got the 1.5 hole in it. This slips into there. There you go. You can see, that's on. And we put the sucker back on. Tighten her up, start her up, see what happens. All right, so back together, we will remote start this. So we can watch what's going on and it's going to get loud sorry guys and the engine's going to be it's cold so it's going to be running oh i'd say at least 100 psi so here we go 1.5 mil restrictor hole making 93, 94 PSI of oil pressure. It started up at 50 and it's sort of around the 40 ish as it's sort of getting getting more. I still think the the 1.5 might be a little bit too large. So yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. Maybe I'll warm this up, see how it goes. If it's still a little bit too high, I'll put the one mil in it. And just, if that works, that tells me that this APR ain't doing shit. Okay, I went for a little spin. Engine oil is all off the temp. Um, give me a little look -see. And now it's up the temp. It seems to be around the 40 psi, even up the higher RPM. Uh, idle, it's around 20 ish. Give her a rev, 
the oil pressure should go up to about 80 ish. 80, 90. That's good. Okay. So, once he's up to temp, that one and a half mil restrictor on the OPR is actually helping that OPR keep to around 40 psi, which that's what I wanted the OPR to do in the first place. So it's telling me that one, the spring in this OPR is either it's too loose or the drain, the return line is too small, possibly. One of those two. Or, or the APR is just made for engines that only make 60, 70 psi engine pressure, engine oil pressure, where the 2J is making like 100. It's probably overwhelming that APR. So that little restrictor, 1.5 mil restrictor, is just helping the APR maintain its pressure. Yeah. Can't wait for Tavis Mark to get on to me and uh, about this one. But we'll have a chat with them, but this that'll work for now and hopefully Tavis might have a, a remedy to fix this issue, maybe a, a stronger spring in the OPR and I can get rid of that resistor. No, not resistor, bloody restrictor. Anyway, that'll do me for now. Um, maybe the next video I'll get back to you is if Turbo so I'll do email me back and we'll sort this issue out. Anyway guys, subscribe, like, and see you in the next one. Okay, so I went back anyway. I went for a spirited drive and still smoking. So I put, I took that 1.5 mil restrictor out and I put the 1 mil in. Went for another drive and guess what? I saw the tiniest puff of smoke on diesel. So that's telling me that that OPR T40 is doing FA. Sweet FA. I'll have to get on to Turbo Smart. Or they can get back to me. Anyway guys, that'll do it. I've had enough. Enough for today. Sort of fix the issue with a 1mm restrictor on the OPR. Yeah, why do I have the OPR? <laughs> okay guys, like, subscribe, and um, comment. Yeah, I'd like to have a chat with a few of these. See ya guys.